I'm on a 6,000 mile road trip exploring the Pacific coast with the goal of knocking out as many new species as possible from my kayak. And I'm catching fish like this. <laughs> yeah, I got color. Yeah! So come along as I fish both freshwater and salt and meet new kayak anglers along the way. What? This is Field Trips with Robert Field. Look at that! That was insane! All right, guys, so we're back here in La Jolla. Yesterday, Kevin put me on my first yellowtail. Such a fun fight. And today, we're going to be going after sheephead, maybe some calico bass, uh, basically fishing the rocks underneath the kelp. Uh, one problem we've got, I know it's not going to look like it here on this GoPro, but the surf is pretty gnarly. Uh, luckily, here in California, there's really only one or two breakers, whereas in Texas, there's a bunch. But these breakers are pretty decent size, so we're really going to have to time it right. There's definitely breaks in between where, you know, if we hit it right, we'll be able to get through it. But if we hit it wrong, I'm going to go swimming. It's always fun launching a fishing kayak at a surfing destination. After this one. I got through all right. Took one in the face. Oh, there's a leopard shark right there. There's another one. All right, so to start off today, we're gonna be going for a sheephead. And now these are not the convict fish sheephead that I'm used to down on the Texas coast that have those kind of black bars. These things are bright red when they're female and bright red and jet black when they're males. So really cool looking fish. They're basically a reef fish. They hang out around the rocks. And today we're gonna to be using just simple shrimp. Uh, we went and bought frozen shrimp from the grocery store and that's what they're gonna hit on. So we'll be dropping straight down. And the key for these fish is that we gotta really crank them out of these rocks or just like a grouper or a snapper, they're gonna to try to run in there and break us off or just kind of get hung up. So. Uh, it's gonna be kind of hot and heavy as soon as you get that bite. You gotta reel them up. And one cool thing, I'm out here to catch new species, and Kevin was saying it's kind of annoying. There's a ton of bycatch, ton of fish hanging out around these rocks that we're gonna catch. But for me, that's a good thing. I'm here to catch new stuff, so it uh, should be a fun day. We're gonna get this rigged up. We're almost to the spot. We're gonna start dropping down. What is this? Go for rockfish? Yeah. Am I cool to grab this guy? Yeah, Kevin says this is called a go for rockfish. Cool looking fish. Those spines on the top look gnarly. There's all kinds of stuff hanging around these rocks. I'm excited to see what else we'll get into. Better fish, better fish. You got me in something, man. No, no, dude, no. It was. I mean, I feel like he bit it and ran into something. It was. I mean, it was definitely a. Go slack for a oh, he's gone, dude. Damn. That was a fish, bro. Cause he pulled down and pulled out drag, and then oh, yeah. all of a sudden there's just dead weight. Ah, these fish are not easy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Monster! <laughs> I swear, I mean, he definitely got me in the rocks. Like, you saw that bend. <laughs> so, this is a brown rockfish. Uh, similar looking to those gopher rockfish, but a little bit different pattern. Different pectoral fins for sure. That's two new species today so far. These sheephead are eluding me though. I've gotten a few bites that were bigger fish. Just can't seem to execute and get one up to the boat. There's a lot of rocks down there. It's not easy. We're gonna keep after it though. Fish are biting. See if we can't get something good. See you, buddy. Good. There's one. Nice. Yeah. 
a nice a, female right there. So that's a female. Yep, and they don't get very much bigger than that as a female. Awesome looking fish though, and they taste amazing. And they fight really, really well once you get the big and the big ones. Ooh. They're still fighting in the boat. Yeah, it's not done. Yeah, we're gonna catch some. We're gonna catch some. If we found one, we're gonna find more. That's awesome. Really Let's get out there. Very cool. So Kevin was explaining to me that the sheephead are hermaphrodites. Basically, every single one of them starts off female, and they're kind of this solid red color. And then somewhere around five years old, they change to male, and that's when they develop that black head and a black tail. It's not the only species of fish I've heard of that does that, but it makes it really easy to identify the males and the females. And the females really never get that big. Uh, the males with the big black heads, that's what we're going after. But right now, I take either one. Ain't getting bites. I got the go for rock fish and lizard fishing down out here. Little tree fish, huh? Oh, it's pretty, dude. Yeah. Almost like a bass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah! First sheep hit! Oh, just barely. Woo! Nice! Not very big, but... At least you get to see one of these guys up close. All right, so that is a sheephead out here in California. And you can tell this one's starting to darken up in his face and his tail. And that means he's kind of transitioning or maybe just transitioned to male from female. Really bizarre fish. They remind me kind of like a hogfish in Florida. Kevin says they're related on some level. Yeah, these guys are good to eat. And that was a pretty fun fight for how small he is. Kevin said he's caught some up to 22 pounds. I can't even really imagine how it's gonna be a battle if I get one like that. But it uh, feels good. Not another species off the list. California sheephead. Much different than the sheephead we have back home. So Kevin just caught this small female and you can really kind of tell the difference in color there. As these males get older, the black marks on his face and tail get much darker, but that gives you kind of an idea of the difference as they transition from female to male. So Kevin and I were both really tired this morning and both of us forgot our depth finder batteries so we've been out here blind which makes it a lot tougher to find structure on the bottom uh, but we just found this nice kelp forest we can see kelp all below us and Kevin says that's a good sign uh, that winds picking up it's making it a lot harder to stay on top of our bait but uh, we're just gonna kind of power through it drop down in this forest see if we can pull up a nice fish white fish, white fish. Female sheephead. Fish are biting. Another brown rock fish. Little sheephead. Oh, now Kevin's hooked up. They're on now. We are wearing them out. Well, they're getting a little bit bigger. That's a decent male. And we're catching one every single drop right now. So I'm just going to keep after it, stay persistent. Hopefully, I can weed through these and get a nice one of the boat. Solid calico bass. When big calico bass are bycatch, that's pretty funny. Another go for rockfish. Oh, another one. Oh, oh yeah, they're getting a little bigger now. And there's another one. Another rockfish. Not a bad bycatch right there. You kind of see how their eyes bug out. That's from the pressure change as we pull them up from about 120 feet, 140 feet down. But he should be fine. This poor cormorant right here has got a jig head lodged in his beak. But he won't let us get close enough to remove it. Come here, buddy. Come here. You're never gonna get his ass. Poor guy. So Kevin said that it's imperative when you're targeting these sheephead that you keep your line straight up and down. And that's because of the kelp and rocks and everything, you can't be drifting. You gotta stay right on top of it or you're gonna get hung up. And he let me borrow this Mirage Drive 180 
Hobie's new reverse drive, and it has been money for staying on top of the spot. Uh, well, today has definitely been a day of numbers. We just can't seem to weed through all these small ones to catch a big one, but I know they're out here. I've seen Kevin with pictures of huge ones, uh, but they're a fun fight, even these little guys. Beautiful fish, beautiful weather. La Jolla is an incredible fishery, and I will most definitely be back. Nice. <laughs> That's a better one, dude. That's a better one. That's a better one. Woo! Get him. Uh, That's a good fish. Oh, yeah. It feels like a good fish. Oh, yeah. It's a sheephead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my, oh my God. I cannot believe we have not gotten a big one yet. And sure enough, there it is. Yeah! Woo! Freaking clutch city, bro. Just get it on there somehow. I'll secure them. Almost just lost oh that bitch. Dude, you see me? I was about yeah, to jump. You were about to jump in the water, dude. I saw you, man. Oh my gosh. That is a teammate right there. Dude. Yeah! <laughs> man, that right there is proof that persistence pays off. Look at oh. that fish. Woo! You like that, huh? Oh, dude, that was fun, man. I was like, okay, here we go. You pull a little drag out? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, and I had it locked down too. You about pulled me out of the damn boat. Yes. That was great to put up. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Finally, after weeding through what feels like a million babies, we got a good one. Beautiful male, you can see that dark black head, that red middle and that black tail. Much more pronounced than on the small ones. Got that kind of humped head. Oh man, that guy, pulled out some drag. It's hard to get him out of those rocks, but I knew immediately that I had finally found a good one. Woo -hoo -hoo. Nice. We're done. Yeah, yeah we are. That is a beautiful fish, and that guy's gonna be dinner tonight. Huge thanks to Kevin Nakata for putting me on a couple incredible fish here in my first time in La Jolla. I will most definitely be back. Woo! That's a fun couple of days, bro. Yeah! Big yellow yeah. tail, solid sheep head. That's a gnarly animal. Look at those teeth. <laughs> it's for ripping shrimp and crab and whatever else out of the rocks. Oh man, that's a bizarre looking fish. It's <laughs> like an alien, man. Man, it's been a long day. It was supposed to be a half day. We were gonna get out of here at noon. We just could not weed through the smaller sheep head, but they were biting, so we just knew if we stuck with it long enough, We'd eventually hook up with what we wanted. Uh, they still get much bigger than this. How big do you think this is, Kevin? Uh, 12 pounds, 13 pounds. About 10, 12, 13 pounds, something like that. That's a solid fish, and they are strong. The fight kind of reminds me of like a red snapper. You got to just winch them up out of that reef. You'll drag lock down. Oh, man. This goes to show, as is often the case, if you stick with it long enough, you'll get what you came out here for. Nice, going in that ice cold bag. Ready for eating. Yeah. <laughs> and they are amazing to eat. I'm gonna enjoy that meal after everything it took to catch that guy. We just went through like 80 shrimp. <laughs> the slow clap, oh man. Well, as luck would have it, I got my sheep head, but now the surf, it's tough to tell from the backside always, but Kevin says that's big. And Kevin lives here, so if he's saying it's big, it's gonna be big. And yesterday I pretty much got my uh, you know what kicked. Almost had a pretty bad accident with the gaff. And today's bigger than that. This is not gonna be fun. Bro.
<laughs> Perfectly executed. <laughs> we timed that right, dude. I saw you booking it and I was like, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go. I rode one wave the whole way in and it never broke. You're so lucky. Couldn't ask for better than that. It never tried to turn me or anything, man. I didn't, I was ready for the paddle like either way and I just, I just chilled. <laughs> that was awesome. That went from terror to like just absolute enjoyment, you know, yeah. So funny, man. <laughs> Some of those swells we went over, I was like, we're about to die. And it turned out to be a little fun day in the surf. Yeah. I was scared, bro. I was scared. I was scared too. <laughs> well, Kevin, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for putting me on them. Yeah. First two days in La Jolla, I don't think they could have gone any better. We smacked them. Yeah. You got them good. It's yeah. for your first time on the way, you got a yellowtail. You got actually two yellowtail. Yep. You got a giant sheep and a bunch of other things. You got some gopher rock, fish, brown rock, fish. Dude, you killed it, man. It was fun, man. It was fun. I've heard this place is legendary. Uh, came here with high expectations and it delivered. I'm stoked, man. Called the jewel for a reason. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna come back in March or April and we'll do sea bass next time. Love it. I think you'll do well. <laughs> Thanks again, brother. Alrighty. Appreciate it, man. On the next episode of Field Trips, I'm working my way north to Malibu to meet up with Dylan Marks, who I met online a couple years ago after a hammerhead bit his foot. We'll be heading out to fish the kelp in search of halibut, white sea bass, and thresher sharks. Something's got my bait real nervous, man. White sea bass? Nice. Uh, the best way to eat these guys is raw, pretty much right after you catch them, so. <laughs> no? no?